Hey, so something interesting happened to me today. Um, about like uh, 45 minutes ago, I was driving um, in Falmouth on Route 1 and um, just chilling, you know, I'm a low, you know, low frequency mode. Uh, and um, this car kind of cut me off and pulled out in front of me. And I was in chill mode, just relaxing. And I kind of just put my hands up like, you know, like, like this, kind of like, you know, like, what's the deal, man, you know? You know, kind of like, what? You know, what? You know, you're pulling out in front of me. And I wasn't angry and I was, uh, you know, I was just in relaxation mode, like complete, like my heart rate didn't change one bit. I know it didn't. Um, and uh, the uh, person, it was almost like uh, time slowed down when I looked at this person that was pulling out in front of me. Um, he was making a bunch of hand gestures, and I could tell he was swearing and saying whatever, you know, whatever he was saying at me, and like pointing, like, you know, freaking out. So okay, this guy was uh, really angry, you know, just a really angry person. And I was able to have compassion, so much compassion for him, and I just waved back as in, as in like, and then there's a slow motion, kind of like it seemed to pause. And there's nothing like this has ever happened to me in my life. This is from practice and mindfulness and meditation and stuff. But this guy, the slow motion of him looking at him and kind of, and having empathy because of seeing how angry he is, that he was, you could tell he was hollering at me and swearing. And I was kind of in almost in another dimension by like, you know, just another, another, you know, just, and we were on di different frequencies. I, you know, I was, I mean, you know, I'm a peaceful, you know, person, but this poor guy, his heart probably racing and he was just full of anger you know and resentment you could tell and he was really flipping out you know because i actually put my hands up i didn't put him up to uh go in front i was just like you know what because you know, he pulled out in front of me i had to slam on my brakes but um i never had anything like that happen to me before where time actually slowed down as i and i kind of was like looking for me like, and i kind of just glazed over at him and i really didn't look at it too hard but in empathy at looking at this gentleman uh flipping out cursing me and you know kind of freaking out because he's wound so tight because i think past emotions and past experiences and it is uh, you know some people have a lot of built up resentment and anger and i can't help but have empathy for people like this when i come across them even if they cut me off in traffic and freaking uh, start swearing and flicking me off um, because I'm in such a, I'm so much happier now and in peace mode and I used to be like that. So I guess that's why I can have empathy, uh, more empathy for it because I know what it's like. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, he's older than me, like probably in his uh, late forties or fifties. And, um, I could have empathy because I, I've been there before. I used to be like that. I used to be like that when I, someone kept coming, someone in traffic, I used to have that road rage and mind racing a million miles an hour but yeah the empathy that i had and the understanding for this person that cut me off in traffic you know in falmouth on route 1 45 minutes ago as he was cut in front of my car after i slammed on my brakes and watching this middle-aged man knowing he's in a bad place flipping out and swearing at me i couldn't hear him but i could see his gestures and what he was doing um and it's like I said, it's like uh, it's like time, like we went slow motion as I was looking at him, and I could almost see myself in the mirror of the past me. Uh, as he, it was very powerful experience. He was, you know, as he was, you could tell he was cursing me out. So that's just an example of how powerful it is to be more mindful in life and be grateful for the things we have and not about the things and not worrying about what we don't have because when we start creating more um uh happiness for ourselves with our with manifested mindfulness thinking positive being grateful having gratitude it's really freaking powerful and uh you're you, you know this is some real stuff and i just had to tell you this story um yeah about this you know um definitely um having a fantastic day and uh that didn't one bit affect it and my heart rate didn't even change as i saw this man passing in front of me in slow motion the old me in rage flipping out at me knowing me in the past if someone was cursing me out i'd open the window and i'd flip out and engage him i didn't 
And that is because of meditation, mindfulness, and practice, and being grateful and stuff. Now I'm able to control my heart rate. You know, and that's part of vibrations and frequencies. Um, everyone have a great day. Mm, talk to you later. Bye.